Hello, I'm Kyle Summers and welcome back to the third episode of the series In Deep Conversation. Today we welcome back the right awkward William Pilkington Smythe and we'll be asking him about royalty and the civil list and does it have any standing in today's society. Welcome back Lord Smythe, nice to have you with us. Yes. What would be your comments on the civil list and royalty today? Yes, hello hello, Summers, yes. Um, Well, first of all I'd like to uh, say that I have absolutely nothing against uh, the royalty or any of that lot, but the country's like a leaking faucet, hemorrhaging money left, right and centre, and I think that the royalty is just an expensive, extravagant luxury that the country can't afford anymore. Um, So let's take a look at why they are actually here. How did they get here? Well, um, they are direct descendants of thieves, murderers, and vagabonds. That is the truth. Now, you can't hold um, anybody to account of what their ancestors have done, be it good or bad, but, and this is the big b- 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 But they have become a long-standing tradition, uh, and things need to change. It it cannot go on. It's just ridiculous. Uh, The days of kings, queens, princes, and princesses are fairy tales, and it needs to come to a stop. End of the story. Now, I'm not proposing that they should... uh, uh, be got rid of in any way, you know, not like other countries uh, have done over the, uh, uh, the, the, the centuries. Um, they should still be allowed to uh, get on and live, you know, but all this nonsense, changing of the guard, trooping the colour, is a load of bunkum nonsense. It's too damn expensive. Now, coming back to the original question, why are they here and what is their purpose? Um, don't take my word for it. Uh, have a look on uh, any search engine and uh, ask the question why they are here and what is their purpose. It will tell you that their sole purpose for their existence in their overpaid s- outrageously, scandalously rich lives are to provide an heir for their damn fortunes. Now, this is just absolutely ridiculous. If someone told you that, um, that was a purpose for someone, you'd laugh and say, what are you talking about, you silly sod? You've got to be out of your mind. That can't be right. Well, we are talking about reality, and this is why they are there. Basically, to shag each other and produce another offspring with a giant silver spoon rammed up its arse um, to inherit the fortunes that they have. This cannot be right. It's an absolute bloody joke, let alone an exorbitant drain on society which has to be plugged. Now, the figure for the civil list which is paid is based on the value of the current crown estate, which is estimated to be around 330 million pounds. Now, that is uh, royal buildings and properties and stuff that they own. Now, the net worth of the Queen is... It's just a damn telephone number, but it's about $88 billion. You can't even imagine how much money that is. It is basically telephone numbers, so I won't... um, quote any more figures um, is pointless. It's just think of a telephone number and treble it, and that is the kind of money and things we're talking about. Now, the Queen has just received an 8.1% rise in this year, 2000, or last year, actually, because it's New Year's Day today. Uh, Last year, 2018, she received an 8.1% rise in her payment. Now, she is paid a massive 82.2 million pounds per annum. 
which equates to £1.5 million per week. What? Listen, just think about that for one moment. One and a half million pounds every single week, every single year. That is, is just mind-bogglingly outrageous, of which she pays very, very little tax. It's not anywhere near a, any, it's not of any percentage of the income that she receives. It's just, uh, uh, what if you want to call it? It's just hardly anything that she pays back, uh, probably because she may feel a bit guilty. Damn right she should be paying tax. Along with Amazon, Google, YouTube, Waste of Space Book, and all these others, bloodies, uh, social media outlets and coffee shops who hoover the money out of society and it vanishes into thin air. Uh, it's just bloody ridiculous. Uh, well, well, anyway, we'll probably talk about that um, scandal in another program, Summers. But getting back to the main point... You often hear people talking about how much money the royalty and all that lot bring back into the country. Well, that is a misconception, totally. And again, don't take my word for it. Have a look online and uh, have a look. If, if you think that the royalty bring anything into the country to pay back into a society what they suck out... Um, you are wrong. Just have a look at the top 20 UK attractions, uh, and there are absolutely no royal, no mention of royalty, no royal buildings or anything whatsoever in that entire top 20 chart. Uh, to do with them. So you'd think, you would think that if they uh, had any uh, significance of uh, bringing, uh, earning money for the country, then they would be in that chart. But they're not. That's a fact. And that's, uh, you can't say anything more about that. That's all there is to it. Now, if we took a snapshot of today's finances, the country, if it was run as the business, would be bankrupt. It would be in a black hole bigger than you can even conceive. Uh, we've suffered decades of austerity, yet the national debt has increased. Now, why? How can that be? How can that? Because it's been grossly mismanaged by successive governments who haven't got a damn clue how to run anything. They couldn't organise a fart in a submarine. Now, every service in the UK has been consistently cut and shaved to the bone by successive governments. Yet, we owe an amount which is increasing on a daily basis. It's just like a telephone number, but treble it with numerous zeros. You can't even count or imagine how much money that is that we owe. Yet, the Queen received an 8.1% pay rise. It cannot continue. So, if anybody wishes to supply and substantiate a good reason to keep the royalty in uh, the luxury they have become accustomed to and continue to pay them exorbitant amount of money which is sucked out of society and paid for by the hard-working person in society, you tell me. You come up here and tell me right now. So basically, in summary, the civil list and all the parasites that benefit from the taxpayer's hard-earned buck needs to stop, along with UK foreign aid. Again, uh, Summers, that's an idea. We can talk about that. Foreign aid. Um, you can have my definite thoughts on that as well, if you'd like. Good idea. Anyway, Good thank idea. you for having me on, Summers, and uh, I'll see you next time. OK, thank you very much. That was the right awkward William Pilkington Smythe. And thank you for joining us today. And we will see you next time on the In Deep Conversation series. Mm -hmm.